Samuel J. Crumbine, September 17, 1862 to July 12, 1954, was a pioneer in public health who campaigned against the common drinking cup, the common towel, and spitting in public in order to prevent the spread of tuberculosis and other germs. Crumbine was born at Emlinton, Pennsylvania, on September 17, 1862, the son of Samuel D. Crumbine and Sarah Mull Crumbine, both natives of Pennsylvania. His mother was of German and English descent, his father, who was of German descent and a mechanic, served in the Union Army during the American Civil War as a member of the 103rd Pennsylvania Infantry, being 1st Sergeant of Company H. He was captured by the Confederates and confined in Libby Prison, where he died of sickness, his death occurring prior to the birth of his son, Samuel. The mother of Crumbine died in Pennsylvania, in 1902, aged 62 years. At the age of 21, Crumbine entered the Cincinnati College of Medicine and Surgery, where he worked his way through and graduated in 1888. Upon receiving his diploma, he moved to Kansas and engaged in the practice of his profession at Dodge City. While there, he was appointed to the State Board of Health by Gov. W. E. Stanley. Then on September 1, 1911, he assumed the duties of Dean of the School of Medicine of the University of Kansas. Dr. Crumbine was married September 17, 1890, his 28th birthday, to Miss Catherine Zorcher, of Cincinnati, Ohio. They had two children, Warren, born January 29, 1892, and Violet, born March 5, 1896. Topic: <laughs> Life in Dodge City. Dr. Crumbine began his medical practice in Rip Roaring, untamed Dodge City during its heyday, the late 1880s and early 1890s. Fresh from medical school in 1885, he was taken on a tour of the saloons in the unsavory South Side. I heard peals of laughter, he related in later days, staccato calls of the floor manager, occasional whoops of cowboys, and constant shuffling of heavy boots. At one end of the hall was a bar, doing a rushing business. At the other, on a small platform, was an orchestra fiddle, guitar, and banjo. The women were house entertainers, servants or demimons. Dr. Crumbine was the model for Doc Adams on the long-running TV show Gunsmoke. The legendary lawmen of Dodge City, Wyatt Earp, Bat Masterson, Luke Short and Bill Tillman, were his contemporaries. On one occasion, he saw Tillman through a severe siege of pneumonia. The lawman became one of the few to live to a ripe old age. Topic: <laughs> Life after Dodge City. He moved to Topeka to become secretary of the Kansas Board of Health and eventually became nationally known for his work with the US Public Health Service. He is the inventor of the flyswatter, an improvement on the earlier flybat, produced by Frank H. Rose. In 1905, he titled one of his fly bulletins, which warned of flyborne diseases, Swat the Fly, after a chant he heard at a ball game. Crumbine took an invention known as the fly bat a screen attached to a yardstick and renamed it the fly swatter, which became the generic term we use today. He died in New York City in 1954. Topic family drive Crumbine had two children, Violet March 5, 1896 to May 13, 1973 and Warren January 29, 1892 to February 16, 1916, both of whom were born in Dodge City, Kansas. Violet had one child, Carolyn July 17, 1932 April 4, 2011, who never married and died New York City. Warren, January 28, 1892 to February 16, 1916, married Beulah Searle, October 30, 1891 to February 7, 1919, in Geneva, Ohio, in 1915. 
Warren, who died of pneumonia in Shanghai at the age of 24, had one child born after his death also named Warren August 23, 1916 to January 5, 1993. The younger Warren, an orphan from age two, married Marion Thomas March 25, 1916 to April 13, 1994 in 1937 and died in New Hampshire at the age of 76. They had four children: Peter, August 3, 1938; Dennis, July 8, 1940; Nancy, October 18, 1946; and Katie, October 23, 1951. As of July 2015, Dr. Crumbine had 20 direct and living descendants. Peter was raised in Shaker Heights, Ohio, and educated at Dartmouth College, Phi Beta Kappa, and Stanford University, MBA and MS in Electrical Engineering. He married Beatrice Jordan August 14, 1944, on August 29, 1964 in Woodside, California, and they have three children. Dennis is a user experience architect and a singer, songwriter. Wendy December 23, 1969, was born in the Philippines and is owner of Western College Prep. David February 14, 1975, was born in London and is a teacher and assistant principal at Kip Academy in Houston. B and Peter have five grandchildren: Olivia, born September 28, 1999; Phoebe, Tyler, born February 5, 2002; Jay, born September 22, 2010; and Ziza, born September 10, 2012. Peter's business career included 18 years with Mobile Oil including assignments in Italy, Philippines, UK and Portugal, Navios Corporation, Citibank, and RBS Sempra Commodities from which he retired in January, 2011. He was elected to five terms as selectman i.e. deputy mayor of the town of Greenwich 1999-2009. B, an opera singer, was educated at Mills College and New York University Phi Beta Kappa, and is currently ambassador-at-large for the town of Greenwich. Dennis grew up in Shaker H.T.'s, Ohio. He graduated from Shaker H.T.'s High School, Dartmouth College and Stanford Business School. He worked for Procter and Gamble in Cincinnati, Ohio, 64, 68, Pepsi Cola in NYC and Purchase NY, 68 to 78, and the Perrier Group in Greenwich, 78, 93. He was one of the founders of the Perrier Group, which imported Perrier into the US and started the bottled water phenomenon in the US. Dennis and Maureen Dibuono were married on March 20, 1976 in New Rochelle, New York. They have one son, Jeffrey, born March 17, 1978 in Greenwich, Court. He graduated from Brunswick School in Greenwich, Georgetown Univ, and Fordham Business School MBA. He is a firefighter in Greenwich, Court and a real estate agent in Greenwich. He and his wife, Elise de Vincenzo Crumbine, have one son, Hunter Dennis Crumbine, born August 1, 2013 in Manhattan. Catherine Katie also grew up in Shaker and then headed out to Colorado to ski and attend the University of Denver. She graduated from the University of Colorado with a degree in fine arts and married Albert J. Galley, Jr. on August 18, 1973. After four years of teaching art, along with teaching shop, music, and home arts, she took seven years off to raise their two children, Christine August 24, 77, and Elizabeth the 5th of September 80. Katie taught pottery classes in the evenings during those seven years and then returned to teaching art. During her 41 years of teaching, she switched from art to math and taught math at high school and community college levels. She also enjoyed teaching English as a second language ESL. Christine has her BS in civil engineering and an MBA. She married Travis LeBerg and they have two children, Copland, the 2nd of January 07 and Ravel, July 27, 09. Elizabeth has her BS in chemical engineering and her doctorate in pharmacy. She is married to James Cundall.
Elizabeth was born on the same day, with mothers in same hospital room, as a descendant of Sanford Silas Searle, the father of Beulah Searle see above. Nancy, to be added. <laughs> Legacy The Crumbine Award is given in his honor. A statue of Crumbine is located at the Kansas Health Institute, across from the Kansas State Capitol Building. Publications Frontier Doctor, the autobiography of a pioneer on the frontier of public health. <laughs>